Guys, what's up? How's it going? It's John, and in this video, I want to talk about a new game for the Nintendo Switch on the eShop called Guns of Mercy. It just came out recently, and it reminded me of a throwback to the old Neo Geo arcade type games. It's done in kind of a 16 bit style. It's a shooter, it's one of those games you can just go in and play. Uh, so, if you like the old school arcades, you like kind of the 90s arcades, this is a game to check out. It's 1199 on the eShop. Without any further ado, let's take a closer look. First off, let me start off by saying I really love what Nintendo is doing with the eShop. There's a lot of great indie games coming out on a weekly basis. This is one of many to definitely check out. But this one definitely caught my eye because I, I'm a huge fan of the arcade, 90s arcade style shooters. And this one kind of threw me back to the Neo Geo and I just want to share with you guys. It's all done in kind of a 16-bit style. There are four different characters you can choose from. And uh, this all game also came out, I believe, for the Android and iOS as well. So if you can play it on your phone. Different upgrades you can purchase here uh, with different abilities. Level 1, level 0, you can upgrade, which is nice. And just kind of add some replay value to the game. So as you get higher levels, you get better abilities, you get better weapons. Uh, the game gets uh, more obviously more difficult, so the weapons adjust to the difficulty as well. There's also different missions here. It shows you how, how far along you're on each mission. And just start up and go. There's a multi-mode, which will play up to four players at a time. I don't believe it's online quite yet. I, I know it's definitely a local player. Uh, and there's also a single player, so we'll do the rogue mode. Different characters. Again, I'm not quite sure what the differences are other than the looks. I know the cat person, for example, is pretty fast. So I do think they have different abilities. And between each stage, you have an opportunity to, to power up as well and, and purchase items. So I, there's two ways you can control the game. Uh, I prefer the two analog sticks. So I'm actually fires through, which is nice. So the right analog stick, you can adjust kind of going left and right. And obviously the left analog stick on the switch, you can move left, right on the bottom the screen there. Uh, right shoulder button will pick up items. Uh, special items, that is. These gems you automatically pick up at these points. It kind of reminds me of like Centipede meets Galaga in a way with those those kind of strange centipede looking aliens there coming across. The goal of each stage is to kill all the enemies up to however number there are. So for example, that was 41. I had to kill 41 different enemies. And what is nice, you can skip every stage hat goes to the elevator screen there, but you can skip that by holding, holding the B button, which is nice. Each stage gets progressively more difficult. I'm not quite sure how many stages there are, but I've been playing this game quite a bit. I enjoy it. Um, and there's different weapons you can choose. This is my preferred weapon of choice. And as you notice on the bottom, you have this score fuel. And that and right now I'm at 61%, but that will just increase and increase the more enemies you kill. And once you get to 100%, you get a really cool mech outfit and you can just destroy a little bit It's a lot of fun. So visually the game I think looks really stunning. Level pacified. It's really funny. Okay. I'll save my, my power-ups. What's also interesting you, get, you, interesting, you get diamonds in the game as well. And those diamonds are really important because if you die, they aren't really continuous per se, but you can actually use those diamonds to unlock various stages you've gone up to. So if you have enough diamonds to go back to, like, if I die at level 7, for example, and I need three diamonds, I can purchase that to go back to level 7. Or if I only have one diamond, I can go to level 4, for example. So that's kind of interesting uh, how that works. A cool uh, dynamic. The music is really good too. It's just one of those games you can pick up and play. I really, all ages, my five year olds could play this game pretty easy because it's pretty easy controls, but it's addicting. I think visually it looks really stunning and, and audio wise, I think it's really fun too. Now this character right here is kind of slow and, and the, these square gems can disappear after a while. What game does this remind you of, guys? Leave a comment below. I'm kind of curious what game this reminds you of. Again, it kind of reminds me of like Metal Slug meets Centipede meets Galaga. <laughs> it's the best way to kind of explain this this game. There's upgrades, so uh, once you... I'm on level 3 or stage 3, it's a cool upgrade. Some of the upgrades that I've noticed are weapons are weaker, take weak and less damage than the one I already have. So it doesn't don't necessarily help you. Like this one takes less damage hit per hit. I fire more of them, but they're less damage. For the most part, these kind of bee-looking green monsters don't really go too low. 
It's the ones at the bottom you really have to be concerned about. And there's ones later on that will jump from the ceiling. And just here's a boss battle. And there are boss battles in the game. It's tragedy with this one. You have to shoot those things at the very top, at the right time, and they'll drop a bomb on them. Like that. Watch. But really, for a game for 12 bucks, not a bad deal. Uh, for a game like this, uh, I haven't played this game in multi-mode yet with multiple people. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I've seen videos of uh, four people going at the same time. I think that'd be a lot of fun uh, to play. And just look at all this explosion of gems coming out. Very, very cool looking. Got a diamond there. Score fuel is at 82%, so you're getting closer. This is where the game starts getting pretty difficult. These beetle guys definitely come for you and take a lot of damage. And there's only one life in the game. You get shields to chop you out, but there's only one life. So if you die, uh, that's it. So. It's what I call retro hard labor. Later on, these games are designed to kind of be as hard as back in the old school games, for sure. I'm not quite sure what that item does. Can't pick it up. Controls are really solid in this game. Very easy controls. You can also use the, the extra buttons B, A, X, Y to move your your your, uh, your gun. I think the analog stick has a bit more accuracy. Later on, there are enemies that they'll fire at you. Obviously, make it a little more difficult. The first couple stages, there's really no firing back at you, but later on, they do fire at you. And what's cool is each stage introduce new characters, new enemies, so that can keep it fresh and different. It's a cool upgrade, power upgrade there. Yeah, you can shoot from the side. Very close to my mech here. Let's see what happens. Mecha. Here it is. Check this out. Super cool. Love it. Doesn't last very long, but very cool while it lasts. Anyway, uh, I just want to show you guys this Guns of Mercy. I love the name, too. I think it's a really cool name. Very old school uh, arcade type of game. Let me know what other games you recommend on the eShop for the Switch. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thank you for putting on your notifications. That means a lot. And subscribing. We'll see you guys soon. Take care and game on.